We have been so excited about this. We got there pre 9 a.m. Are you proud of us? The cramps this time were so mild. It looks so good. Dad, what are the errands that we're running? Oh my gosh, is that green? I haven't seen green in months. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Everybody. It is single here and welcome welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing super super duper well and it is Friday Happy freaking Friday. This week sucked. Let's just forget about it and just go into the weekend <laughs> Last week you guys saw me grocery shop on Friday as well And it actually made the weekend so nice like on Sunday I didn't wake up knowing that I had to make a grocery list go physically grocery shopping unload You know, it didn't take away from Sunday at all, which I really really enjoyed and then after that sometime during during the weekend, I saw a TikTok where somebody was talking about a life-changing thing that she started implementing, and it was getting all of her chores done on Friday night so she could enjoy the entire weekend, which is genius. And it seems like she worked a nine to five, so she would just do everything after work on Friday, and then she'd have all of Saturday and all of Sunday to just not worry about anything that she had to do life admin related. So I'm gonna try to do that. So it's Friday, I just got back from Market Basket, and let me show you guys what we got. Our favorite sparkling waters, mini bell peppers, spinach, broccoli, tomato, an onion, cranberry sauce, diced tomatoes, whole peeled tomatoes, eggs, aluminum foil, yogurt. This is like the third or fourth week in a row that I got Faye. Is that how you say it? Faye yogurt? But Jack ended up picking this up for me one day and I haven't gone back. It's so good. And this whole bag is filled with Jack's White Ghost Pro yogurt. <laughs> Strawberries, blueberries, pineapple, bananas, cherry tomatoes, avocados, a jalapeno, raspberries, frozen veggies, coffee, coffee creamer. We got hazelnut this week. Ooh, yeah. Love me. I do love you. Do you want to get in my thumbnail for groceries? I got my dessert. For groceries. Shredded cheese, Parmesan cheese, minestrone soup, cannellini beans, black beans, and a lime. And then like I did last week, I did not pick up any meat because I like to get it as close to the week that we're gonna eat it as possible, if that makes sense. The only problem with that habit is that this Sunday is Easter Sunday and we're not gonna be here tomorrow because we're driving up to my parents' house to celebrate a mini Easter with them. And so there's not really a day I can get the meat besides if I go, we could just go on Monday. No, because we were gonna have a roasted chicken on Sunday. It just messed with that type of schedule a little bit, but we can just go see what we find after the gym. Shall we go to the gym? All right, let me grab my AirPods and then we'll head out. I haven't told them what we're doing after the gym. We need to go now. Mm -hmm. Where are we walking to right now? We're walking to the Scoops of Sammy. Guys, this is the very first day that Sammy Scoops is open for the season. We are going to Sammy Scoops, I repeat, for opening day. We have been so excited about this. I emailed Sammy Scoops. We were those people. <laughs> we were those people. Back with those people. Because I, I saw that another ice cream place had announced that they were opening. It was like maybe at the beginning of April or even in March. So I messaged Sammy Scoops. They didn't message me back on Instagram. So then I emailed them on their website. And then they got back and to me and said, we'll be open mid-April. I think it's here. It no? I think it's one more. I think you're right. I think it's the White House. So I was left to just imagine what mid-April meant exactly. And so I chose specifically the 15th in my mind. And then they announced the date like literally a week ago. Yep. And so we've been looking forward to this date for so long it feels like and I'm so excited. Do you have the scoop card? I do. That's the other thing guys. We are almost to free ice cream. After this visit we will be able to have a free ice cream. We have another one at home that has one sticker so we can just bring that other one in combination with this one and get a free ice cream next time. It's like a beacon of hope. Look at all their open signs. <laughs> this is awesome. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? How are you? Good. So I let's do a medium Oreo in a cup. Could I have um, peanut butter sauce on that? Yeah. Thank you. And can I do that peanut butter sundae? With cream nuts and cherry? Yes, please. Oh, hold your hand. What flavor would you like, honey? Thank you. Oh. Are you so excited? My gosh. Look at this. I have been dreaming about this for months. <laughs> Taste test. Peanut butter sauce? Delicious. 
What do you think? Oh my, it's just like how I remember. Really Look at how good that looks. Uh, what do you got there? Delicious. It's so good. Good morning, my friends. It is Saturday and we secured the bag. We got bagels at Maples. Well, I swear, once we find a location, like a place, we can't stop going to it. It just simply doesn't work like that. We went to Maples for the first time last week, like you guys saw, and then we told my mom and dad about it and we were like, we should bring them up bagels because we're going up for just a mini Easter celebration. But then Jack saw, was it on their Instagram about the Easter bagels or something? This year they're not doing like reservations, like first come, first serve until they sell out. And we didn't realize that Easter bagels were like a massive thing. Like people go to get their bagels for Easter morning. Oh, I know it's a massive thing. I didn't. So not only do we have to make sure we get there in time to just regularly get bagels, but this weekend was especially necessary to get there early. So we got there pre 9 a.m. Are you proud of us? Pre 9. We got the goods. And then I realized I forgot my camera card. That's why I couldn't record it. And that was fine. I was like, you know what? It's fine. I'll use my phone. And then I realized I forgot my phone. And I was like, I definitely feel a little naked without my phone. Now we're heading up to mom and dad's house with the goods. There's the plain bagel bag right in there. And then here's the fun bagel bag in there. And we also got plain cream cheese and maple cream cheese to try. So we got the goods. <coughs> Let's hit it, darling. Can you grab my water bottle here? Oh God. A bird just dive bombed me. I heard it. Did you hear it? Uh, a bird literally just dive yeah. on me. I heard it go. <laughs> oh my goodness! It's my baby! It smells like paint! Hi, honey! Hi! Hello! Hello. What, love? <laughs> I know, it looks good. <laughs> it looks nice. I have a little bit of paint, but I don't know. I'll be with you when I finish my shower. Oh, yeah, for sure. Our bagels? Oh my gosh. We kept them separate. Oh my gosh. This is the plane. Yep. And there's one salt bagel in there. Okay. I didn't know. And then I've this is, had has one. everything in Asiago. Okay. Okay, so what should we do? We, 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 okay. we already had our bagels. So this, I'm going to try a salt bagel. Okay. And then we have homemade plain cream cheese oh my God. and homemade maple, maple cream oh cheese. God. Yeah. Oh Look at guys, for spring, they've got all the beds and all fresh mulch down. It's truly happening. Oh my gosh, is that green? I haven't seen green in months. This is so exciting. No! Oh my gosh, we're ready to go. Come on, Blaze. Are we in this car? Yeah, we are. Okay. I thought that I've seen them in the Jeep before. They have in the past No, 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 no. My seat. My seat. That's my car. Oh, big girl. <laughs> Hi, Billy. Hi, Blaze. <laughs> and she'll stay like this the entire ride. Dad, what are the errands that we're running? Tell them. Uh, okay, first we're gonna get coffee. Coffee. For later. For later. Then we're gonna hit uh, Hannafids. Hannafids. Hannafids for miscellaneous stuff. And then Pinkums for Italian subs and then home. Oh, perfect. Ready, bud? <laughs> are you ready? Here we go. <laughs> Look at her pointing with her little nose. Dad just went in with the coffees and now Belle will not take her eyes off of him until he comes back. How you doing, Blazy? She's guarding the car. We're all guarding the vehicle right now. Oh, hi. oh what service? Delivery. Thank you. Little froth tops. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> the Easter bunny came and look at our Easter basket. It's for the summertime. It's insulated. I did not expect this. I am freshly awake and taking it all. <laughs> Mom said that we have to go collecting, but it's not candy. And we grew up with candy. But then she said it starts on the windowsills. Hey, and I that. see Magnolia Candle, which is very adult Easter. And I see an L Bean gift card, which is also very adult Easter. Thanks, Easter Bunny. Get all the colored eggs. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Easter Bunny rocks. <laughs> we gotta go hunting. Sam and Gabe are gonna be so mad they're not here today. They are. It's a hand I think bomb. It, I think it is. Oh. 
into the basket. Oh, no way! We gotta go to Freeport. Remember when you were a kid and like you could get a penny and it would be like, oh my god. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. They have letters on them. So they... it'll be a puzzle later. Oh, a puzzle. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Get... This is one giant escape. <laughs> Chains just start coming yeah. down. All Amazing. the doors are locked. Oh my gosh, is that another candle? Oh, these ones are so good. See mm. these ones? Have you seen mm -hmm. these before? Yeah, that smells so good. What is it called? Seawix? See, is it Seawix, Mom? Yeah. Seawix candles. Yeah. So that's the salty summer one. Oh my, Lanta. I found another gift card. Oh, nice. Oh, wow, Bob, we can get our wagon. Heck yeah. Is that Go. another candle? I love candles. Oh my gosh. Sea salt and citrus. It's a good that's one. Nice, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm, that one's really good. Adult Easter is fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that another... Plus another... you don't have to compete with your brothers. No. I know, right? Yeah, you <laughs> take your time. I don't have to run anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh, it's we have to get the puzzle? <gasps> is that, is that Oscar? Surprise! Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's in here? Oh my gosh. It's a little lobster tea towel. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. <laughs> Gosh, we're all decked out. Oh my gosh, it's more puppies. Is it another puppy? We oh, get two Oscars. It's a serving dish from no, Sarah. Oh, I like that lobster. Oh, for tea. Summer. That's so. That's cute. cool. Also by Sarah. That's so cute. Oh my gosh, another one. Look at all of their hats. They're so cute. That is so cute. We have to figure out what the spells. Yeah, we do. I see a J and an A and an M. I think it spells my name. Okay. And your name maybe. Yeah. Kayaks. Nice. Nice. Oh, no. oh gosh. Oh man. Oh, oh Bob, look at the windows. Oh my gosh, it's a coaster. The main flag coaster. Wild main blueberry jam. Oh yeah. It's a main oh. Easter. Maybe you should go to the middle one. Oh. Those are so cool. These are so cool. See, Those are so cool, yeah. Those are rad. These are awesome for iced coffee too. Yeah, they look really Yeah, for your iced latte. Oh man. And so main brandy. Those are so nice. Oh, hey, look at that. And another coaster. Oh, we, can, we can twin. Oh my gosh, two coasters. Look at another coaster. Oh my gosh. Three coasters. Love the main state flag. Um, heck yeah. Oh, that's oh this, way. this way. Here we go. We are not getting any clues whatsoever. Nope, we're just going down this way. Anyone. Oh, hey, I'm blocking your view. Oh, another coaster. <laughs> you look at the ants. Take oh, one more, bud. You don't. You missed a gift card. Oh, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> now we have to solve the puzzle. I knew it! Ta -da! Nice. She had to find something that equaled 10 letters. Oh, so my. I would know. No. <laughs> I can't wait. That's awesome. I'm so excited. Good Matt job, and Jack. And hello, my friends. It is Monday. Happy Monday. I hope you guys are having a great start to your week. I just got back from doing a couple errands. I had to drop off a return package, which is so annoying. Like going to the post office to do a return. I don't know why I put so much weight on going to the post office and mailing things out versus just running to the grocery store, or running to Target to do things too. At the end of the day, it's still an errand, but going to the post office is so annoying in my mind. <laughs> but anyway, today I am actually meal prepping my lunch for the week, which is the sweet potato burrito bowls that I showed you all in a what I eat in a day during the two week wait. But I showed you the finished product of them because I had already had them meal prepped and I was just showing you what I was eating, but I didn't show you how to make them and they're so easy. Somebody commented and let me know that I forgot to put that link in the description and I'm so sorry. I'm a terrible, terrible social media person. We're not professional over here, I'm so sorry. But gosh darn it, I will remember to put it in this video's description and if not, tell me. If not, comment down below and tell me I forgot. But I do always love watching people cook in vlogs so I thought I would take you all along. So the first step we have is softening up a large sweet potato in a pan. I peeled it and I cut it into this size cubes, whatever these are. I'm sauteing them in avocado oil, but whatever oil you have is totally fine. Avocado oil specifically is what makes this hormone balancing fertility-esque recipe, but whatever oil you have on is totally fine. And while those are softening up, let me show you what else 
we will be adding for this recipe. Chopped up bell peppers. I have these like baby sweet baby bell peppers in the fridge that I like to eat with hummus. So I just took like three of those mini ones. You want about a cup of those. So I've got those chopped up. In no particular order, we've got one can of diced tomatoes, about a cup of frozen corn. You're gonna need chili powder, cumin, minced garlic. You could do fresh if you're fancy. And then it calls for chicken broth but I substitute that for chicken bone broth because bone broth is a big big key ingredient in a lot of fertility-esque recipes and then you also need a can of rinsed black beans so we've just got these all rinsed and ready to go over here and for measurements you're gonna need to grab a teaspoon measurement a cup measurement and I almost forgot you are going to also need a cup of rice and I think we just about have a cup right in here. The amount of food that this yields is so much. I couldn't eat it in even one week's worth of lunches. So it's really, really good if you have someone to share it with even better. And I ate this one of the weeks for my two week wait, I believe, and into the second week even. Now, did I end up pregnant that cycle? As we saw, no. I'm doing a lot better this week knowing that we have a trip planned and I can't wait to show you all where we end up. I'm so excited. But what's interesting about all of those fertility hormone balancing foods that I was eating is no I didn't end up pregnant necessarily but I ended up having the tamest period symptoms the week leading up to and the week of my period that I can ever remember. My periods have always been so bad. And it's not to say that I, they won't continue to be bad sometimes or I'm not even sure if this was a fluke, I don't know, but the only difference this time than any other time were the foods and the recipes that I was focusing on eating, such as the sweet potato burrito bowl. We had salmon a couple times. I had a pomegranate juice mocktail every night. I ate a lot of pineapple, just a lot of good whole foods that are known to balance our hormones and in turn help with fertility related issues. And I said this in the video where we took our pregnancy test after the two week wait, but I normally literally like five to seven days leading up to my period am feeling crampy and therefore convinced literally five to seven days leading up to my period that it's coming any second. That's how it feels. It just feels very crampy down there. Not intense, but like it's coming real soon type of thing. And I I felt zero of that. I think I felt that literally hours before it officially started and that's it. And not only that, but the cramps this time during my period were so mild, so mild. Yes, I was pumping the Tylenol per usual, making sure I was on that. But usually those first couple days, even in between times where I can take more Tylenol, it just hurts. Hurts. It's so uncomfortable. It's so painful. I'm down for the count laying on the couch and not doing anything Yesterday was day two and I was up walking for an hour outside listening to Harry Potter audiobook Which is so unheard of for me So I'm going to continue eating foods like this because they're delicious and I found recipes that I really like I'll leave that video down below where I bring you through everything that I eat during the two-week wait Because that's a really good representation of the different foods that I've introduced into my diet Because if you're trying to conceive or not not, these had great benefits for me this time around at least. We'll see if those benefits continue. When the sweet potatoes are pretty soft, like I can stab them with a four. They don't have to be perfectly mushy quite yet because we're going to cook them in all of the other stuff too. But when I can do that, I'm going to add another tablespoon or so of oil to the pan, as well as our cup of rice straight to the pan. Did I mention this is a one pan recipe? Another thing I love about it. Mm -hmm. You like this, don't you? This is pretty good. I want like hot salt you can add hot salt So what I'm doing guys is just stirring in the rice and it's soaking up a little bit of the olive oil. And now let's add a couple seasonings. So recipe has the exact measurements. If you're interested in those, I think it calls for half a teaspoon of chili powder. I pretty much do like three quarters to a full teaspoon of chili powder, a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of minced garlic, but I'm a garlic girl. So I'm gonna add two, I'm gonna add two. And then salt and pepper to your liking. You can always add more at the end if you want some more. Mix in all of the spices so the rice and the sweet potatoes are coated with everything. We're going to dump in our can of tomatoes. 
And we're gonna turn that down just a little bit. Add your black beans as well. Your cup of frozen corn. I just have this much left, so I don't know if that's exact. Your sliced up bell pepper. And now we're gonna add the two cups of our chicken bone broth. One, two. And now we are mixing this goodness together and we are going to bring it to a boil. All right, we have brought it to a boil. I just mixed it up so that's why it's not like super, super, super bubbly, but you can see it's brought to a boil. So what we are going to do is turn it down to like between a two and a three for me. Give it a mix before, but then go ahead and cover with a lid. I love this pan so much. We snagged an always pan for Christmas and I'm so excited about it. Literally so good but it's got a little bit of an air escape right there, so that's good. We're gonna have it on between a low and a medium, not quite medium, but more so a low, for 10 to 15 minutes, and then we will check back in and make sure the rice is all absorbed and all squishy and not hard at all. That's the goal here. All right, it's been about 10 to 15 minutes. Let's give it a check. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Just gonna give it a little, oh yeah, a lot, a lot of the liquid has now been absorbed by the rice and that is exactly what we want. Not to toot my own horn, but this is smelling mighty good. I'm just grabbing a little bit of the rice to make sure it's like not hard or anything. Mmm, I missed this. Mmm, this is so good. I'm gonna let that simmer for a little longer. Also, OOTD friends, go over here just in case you can see better. I don't know if you can, but these leggings are from Amazon. They are the colorful koala leggings, I think. They've literally become my favorite non-expensive leggings. Lululemon Align leggings will always have my heart, but I only have one pair of those because they're like $100, and I've got two pairs of these because they're $25. And the color range in these, oh my gosh, so good. And they are like the same material, I would say, as a line or at least as similar as I felt that aren't aligned leggings so good and then this crop is from H&M I believe and then I've got my white sneakers which are being replaced with legit gym shoes soon I'm so excited yeah I will leave this gym fit linked down below also in case you want to match me I legitimately don't think that this can fit in this container, but we are going to attempt it. I just have like a little bit left. Let's spoon it all on there and then figure it out after. Pretty much how I live my life anyway. <laughs> Look at that. I'm gonna let that cool off before I put a lid on it and stick it in the fridge, but this amount of food, don't know if it's coming across on camera, especially with a wide angle lens, it might look not as much. It will last me for over a week, I'm not kidding. And they said you can put lime juice and cilantro in there to kind of top it off, which would be really yummy. I've also sliced up some avocado and put it on top as well, since it's a burrito bowl-esque situation, and always sprinkle cheese on top, because you deserve it. <laughs> wanna be free of this heart, yeah. Wanna feel your arms around me, I need you more. Need you here more than I would like to admit. Let's forget about tomorrow. Yeah, should I hide away forever? Should I close my eyes and never?